Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Another good weekend and a new DIY puzzle box video for you. This is already my seventh DIY puzzle video, so time really does fly. You can find my previous video in the link up here. Today I'm going to make the Ninja Box by Karakuri Creation Group, and I highly recommend you to check their site out. I will put a link in the description below. The Ninja Box is a based on the Love Arrow Box, which has already been discontinued. Again, not sure what to expect, but the tree carved out at the top of the box caught my eye. Let's find out why it's called the Ninja Box, shall we? Okay, so this is how the finished product looks like. A cool looking tree at the top of the box and an obvious drawer for storage. First, let's open up the packaging and yes, this time I managed to keep the whole cellophane wrap intact without breaking it. Finally, after 7 tries. Anyway, I digress. Once open, we are again greeted with the familiar contents, the wood pieces packed in another pack and a nicely printed instructions menu. Very nice. Quickly, I open the pieces pack and then lay them all out in their required order just to make sure I have all the pieces. Then we can start to assemble the box. Similar to the coin box, the first step is to combine the straightforward pieces and I think this is just an extra step that Karakuri puts in to engage the builder as I'm sure that this can be packed into the same package in one piece instead of requiring us to stick them together. Not sure how the slit will work at the moment but we will know soon enough. The next step is to build the drawer itself. I note that there is a hole in the middle of the pieces and we have to make sure the hole is pointing upwards to the ceiling. Again the completed piece looks really good and the dimension of the pieces fits perfectly. The small piece is actually the handle for the drawer and can be glued on different ways but I have decided to have the smooth surface facing outwards which in my opinion looks better. Before the glue is dry I quickly took my daughter's ruler which is lying around and measured the handle placement to make sure I can get as close to perfect as I can. It's done and I'll put this aside to let the glue dry and let's move on to the next step which is the outer shell. This one is slightly different where two walls are glued onto the side instead of the top of the base plate. This shell actually will hold the drawer and the top piece is actually the first piece that we've made with the slits in the middle. So we apply the glue and it's rather straightforward. Two walls on the side and then one at the back. And finally placing the first piece on top of the whole outer shell or actually not the whole but the first half of the outer shell. Then it is time for the next layer where the walls are quite short and thin so I need to be careful. I think this is where the mechanism sits and it's more exciting. I have to make sure the piece with the magnet is aligned properly. That piece is now on the left hand side when we are facing the drawer and all the short walls are glued on and now I just have to make sure everything is aligned properly and flush. Before closing up the top of the box, let me show you the mechanism in full sight. So this piece here is the sliding piece sitting on top of the shell and the cover of the tree slides here. And when it slides to the right, it shows green, so the tree becomes green, which is really nice. And the whole mechanism is held by the magnet. For the drawer mechanism, the drawer has a pole stuck at the end and it will slide through these grooves. So if the sliding piece is on this side, the drawer can't be pushed out or drawn out because it's the groove is not aligned properly. Okay, before closing up the box, let me show you the mechanism. The drawer goes in like this and it slides smoothly as all the Karakuri puzzle boxes do. Then the hole at the 
back of the drawer is for this pole which fits through the slit and into the drawer like so and it can be moved outwards through the slit now this green piece has the grooves and if it's aligned like so which is locking the drawer the drawer can't come out because of the groove but if we move the piece to the right with a tap to loosen the magnet the groove will align in the middle and then the drawer with the pole will be able to move along the groove on the, on the top piece and the drawer can be drawn out so that's the whole mechanism and now I can close the top of the box to complete the whole package now it's time for a quick review of the box it looks really cool with the tree shaped carve out I'm still not so sure about the name ninja maybe it's because ninjas usually hide behind trees if anyone knows please leave a comment below and let me know but it has the magnet which requires a soft hit on the side to unlock the mechanism the treat also turns from wooden color to green which is a very nice touch giving us green light and signifies that the box is now unlocked and the drawer can be drawn out even though it is not a very difficult box to open this really puts a smile on my face maybe it has something to do with the magnets which i think it's always very cool in puzzle boxes and sidetrack a bit uh, talking about magnets i am still struggling with the topless box by eric fuller which uh, contains a few magnets inside anyway the look of this puzzle is really really nice uh, and i highly recommend this kit to anyone interested to build your own puzzle box within the karakuri range uh, so much so that i think this is one of the top boxes in the diy kit sets just maybe ranking after the spin box and this is the ninja box work kit for you it's an excellent small project and well worth the asking price of uh, 2400 yen and that's about it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video and please hit the like and subscribe button to my channel to support it in the meantime take care and i will see you in the next video bye